Hey, it's Matt from Tradesman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through our Google Ads audit template. I'm gonna leave the link for this below in the actual link tree, so click on that. It'll pop up, it'll say Google Ads audit, and you should be good to go from there. Uh, what this Google Ads audit does is it really allows us to break down every single campaign, what we like about it, what we don't like about it, what we would change and how we would change it. And really, it starts off pretty simply with just a checklist so i'll scroll all the way down to here to the bottom and as you can see here we have a checklist and it is a very very long checklist of all the things in an account it's got 60 items now to start off if you look at this checklist some things are relevant and some things aren't relevant for certain accounts and i like to keep it that way because Every single account has a different goal and it really matters on what your account is going for. If you're an e-com store, your goals are very different than lead generation, right? Like if you're running an HVAC business, it's very different than if you're running, you know, you're selling clothing online. So the goals are very different. So sometimes a branded campaign makes sense, sometimes it doesn't, but it really depends on your situation. So keep that in mind when we're looking through this list and when you're looking through this list, if you choose to get this audit. And a lot of these things are very generalized. So it does apply to most accounts, time zone set up correctly. Sometimes we'll see in account like hey the time zone is very off and your ads are not running at the correct time because you set the account up improperly uh, link to Google Analytics that's always good to have uh, conversion actions are created that's very important you'd be surprised how many accounts don't have conversion actions uh, I'm just gonna skim through here uh, verify search partners um, you know sometimes you want search partners sometimes you don't depending on you know search volume and the actual results from the search partner network uh, bidding strategy that's important especially early on advanced location targeting yeah, yeah, yeah disapproved verified disapproved ads and this essentially allows us to break down the campaign and then put a report above here which really breaks down the campaigns in depth and this is one we actually took from one of our previous audits but this is what it kind of looks like and this account had four i think three or four campaigns and we just went through all of this uh, these are some of the things we noted in the campaign that we would change uh, as you can see quite a bit of stuff here in a lot of campaigns there's quite a bit of stuff you need to change the next thing i really like to do is go over the geo targeting make sure you are targeting the correct locations and that the locations you're targeting are profitable also making sure you've excluded certain locations making sure the actual advanced location settings are set properly i also like to include pictures of this it just makes it a little easier to understand same thing for the ad schedule i include a picture of the ad schedule and what we would recommend we normally recommend weekdays as opposed to weekends they just generally perform better for service-based businesses but again test everything full of the data the next thing is the actual search terms keywords and match types so that allows us to really just break down all the granular stuff are we going after the right keywords are we using the right match types what is the search term report looking like are they optimizing are they adding negatives what are they doing these are some of the negatives we would consider adding competitor names you know cheap discount sale free diy stuff we don't want to be appearing for for almost every single business um, the ads current ads contain no calls to action you'd be surprised how many ads don't contain some type of get a quote now or call for a free assessment it's absolutely ridiculous how many people just don't put the time into actually creating good ads we also add in some headlines that we would consider adding new descriptions to be created this is just nice to show the actual person you're doing the audit for if you're doing this for your own actual company uh, just that you should switch it up uh, i also add in another link here i didn't link it here but uh, I normally add a giant list of headlines and descriptions we give away to anyone who gets one of the audits, uh, just to show like these are some of the other headlines you can just copy and paste very easily. Uh, and also if you wanna you know, create a sheet and just link to that to show the company or client or whoever you're doing this for, uh, just how many headlines there are to test with, uh, that's always a good idea. The next thing is the actual ad groups. And I like to show like, okay, this is what this ad group would look like. These are the actual issues with the current ad groups. You need to theme keywords better. You need to theme the ad groups better. Like you'd be surprised how many ad groups, uh, or I should say accounts, how many accounts I go into, there's one ad group and they, they just have like a hundred keywords in this one ad group. They have almost no relevant ad copy whatsoever. And the account is just doing very poorly because of that. So, uh, you know, it's very nice to show people like, hey, this is what we're gonna do if we go into your account, this is what I'd recommend. Um, you could go into greater details and show like the actual keywords that would actually be going into this. So you could do like a sub bullet here and put like under pool installation, we'll add, you know, the keyword pool installation near me, pool companies near me, whatever you're gonna do. Uh, the set next thing is the landing page. Uh, some people have dedicated landing pages some people don't I generally recommend a landing page they convert much higher than a normal website almost 99% of the time so that's why I recommend it 
and if the landing page is, you know, if it looks good, you can tell them. If, you know, it doesn't look good, you can also tell them. You can go over the actual calls to action, the reasons to buy. Uh, there's so many things about a landing page, and it really needs its own breakdown. Uh, I really like going over landing pages, but it is an art in itself to understand what makes a landing page work and what makes a landing page not work. But uh, there's a lot of stuff in the actual landing page, very similar to the ads. If you apply essentially everything with an ad to a landing page, uh, you can pretty much do that and come up with a really good landing page make sure there's a call to action make sure there's you know a button they can call you you know make sure there's something they can actually call you with or get a quote with make sure those are working make sure the conversion tracking set up properly on the landing page make sure there's reasons to buy and make sure it's relevant to whatever ad you sent them from so that's essentially landing page and what we would go over there the next thing is the speed test. I always speed test every website and landing page we do just to make sure it's quick. You don't want a website to take eight seconds to load because everything after two seconds, I think it's like 40 or 50% of your customers leave. So please make sure your landing page or website is fast. Uh, if it's not, you're going to lose customers quite quickly. I also include pictures of this just taken from the actual Google website that we used to test with, which is paidspeed.web, which is a Google site. So that's what I used to test with. Uh, the overall account strategy, we would go here and really just highlight the major problems of the account and usually there's like one or two usually it's you know conversion tracking maybe they just don't have the right keywords something like that and then we would provide solutions and what we would do to actually optimize the account to produce better results and what they can expect realistically from us so that's the google ads account audit if you're interested in getting it it's is linked down below in our little link tree link there. It's got a whole bunch of links in it and it'll say Google Ads account audit or something like that, similar. Uh, so yeah, if you're interested in getting this, uh, check it out in the link down below. It really does a phenomenal job when it comes to breaking down an account, going over everything that's good with the account, what's not with good with the account and what you can do to actually optimize it. I think this is by far the best audit I've seen and I'm pretty happy that we've created it. Now a word from today's video sponsor. If you're interested in getting your phone ringing, building out an amazing call only campaign and really being able to optimize and stay ahead of your competition and bring in leads consistently month after month and making sure that they're actually high quality leads. These people actually wanna buy your product check out our ultimate call only ads course it's absolutely phenomenal we created it we teach you step by step how to actually go in make your actual call only ads campaign we go over the, a little bit of the theory behind it the actual building of the account the optimizing of the account and really if you have any issues with it we actually have a section for frequently asked questions maybe if you have a search volume problem maybe if there's you know conversion tracking issue we cover all of this we also go over third-party conversion tracking as well i completely forgot that but really it's very simple it takes you step by step on how to build a winning call only ads campaign and realistically this is going to be your best bet if you're looking at building a call only ads campaign uh, this course is absolutely phenomenal. So check it out if you're interested in building a call in the ads campaign. Now that's it for today's video. Again, if you're interested in getting the Google ads audit, link is down below. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns about it, leave a comment down below. Check out our Discord server if you want to communicate with our community. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.